your entire body depends on this thin layer of molecules. It is the cell membrane. The cell membrane is described using the fluid mosaic model, meaning that it's flexible and made up of many different components. So we have the phospholipids, which make up the bulk of the cell membrane, but embedded within those phospholipids, you also have proteins like this one here and this one here. We've also then got cholesterol, which is embedded between the phospholipids and carbohydrates, like here we can see a carbohydrate chain attached to a protein, so that would be called a glycoprotein. Now what's interesting is the way that the phospholipids arrange themselves in the cell surface membrane. You'll notice that we've got two layers of phospholipids. This is called a phospholipid bilayer. Now the heads of the phospholipids are what we call hydrophilic which basically means they're attracted to water. So you'll find the heads on the outside of the cell membrane, facing towards the water in the cytoplasm and away from the water outside of the cell. The tails of the phospholipids, on the other hand, are hydrophobic, which you might think means they're scared of water, but really what it means is they repel water. So they're tucked away on the inside of the bilayer, away from the water on the outside. The cell membrane acts as a stable barrier between the watery environments both inside and outside of the cell. And its job is to control what can enter and leave a cell. Follow me for more biology content like this.